Access to digital content and information is so overwhelming. It's like being on a 100-person video chat where everybody is talking, texting, and updating their social media all at once. We wonder why we can't have a conversation without our mind wandering. We wonder why we read a page in a book and forget what we just read. Jim Quick, author of Limitless, says digital distraction may be destroying our productivity and performance, and he gives us some tips on how to combat it. For starters, turn off your notifications. How do you have your concentration honed in a world full of rings and pings and dings and app notifications and social media alerts? Smartphones are designed for you to become dependent on them. Meaning that you can get one voicemail message, one text, one email, and you're fighting fires and get hijacked your whole day and put you in a certain mood. So you should limit the number of distractions, but in small steps. So you don't just have to just take off Facebook and Instagram, everything off your phone, you could start doing it just little by little. I believe inch by inch, it's a cinch. Yard by yard, it might be too hard. Next, ditch the mess of stress. Now, one of the good ways of doing it is do the most difficult things first, because I think that if you do the easy things all the time, which is procrastinate, put things off, then life gets more difficult. It's like a computer. If you minimize the things on your screen, they're still in the background taking up energy. Usually in the morning, we're most creative. Instead of working on input, work on output. Finally, schedule time for non-digital distraction. The brain is not meant to be going full speed all the time. It's often that resting time where we consolidate short to long-term memory, where we are more creative. Make time to let your mind wander or binge watch your favorite shows, anything that can help you relax. Maybe some of those come in the form of distraction, but is actually fulfilling distraction. And since you've made your list of personal and professional things you need to accomplish that day, it's not a form of procrastination. So you control the distractions, don't let it control you. Gaining traction against life's digital distractions.